Hey guys, today I am going to be doing a tutorial on this look right here. I had a lot of fun making it. I don't know why, it's totally different than what I would normally do. I normally use a lot of browns and golds, but I had to try out the silver. So I am going to show you how I got this look. It's very like frosty, icy, you know, glittery with the blue, and I just really like it. So I hope that you enjoy it too. I know I have done, I did last week a red sparkly Christmas one and before Christmas I'll probably do a couple more with the golds and you know all that festive Christmas stuff but I wanted to do something that was just more appropriate not just for Christmas but kind of for winter in general. Um, two things to point out I am using two new products that I have been dying dying like dying to get my hands on and I finally did. One is the Tarte Shape Tape. This has been sold out in stores online everywhere for months and months and months. Anytime I go to get it, they never have it in my shade. So I used this in the video. I absolutely loved it. It's definitely my new favorite concealer, but I'll tell you more about that in the video as I am using it. And the second thing that I got, and by the way, this is the first time I'm trying both of these products on camera. The second thing I got is the Co um, Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial. It is absolutely beautiful. They have them in all different shades. You can put them in your foundation and kind of put them all over for, um, you know, like an all over glow. They have bronze shades and they always have those in stores, but for whatever reason, they never have the light celestial one. And I've been wanting to use it as a highlight for so long. So I finally got my hands on it and I'm going to use it in this video. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, 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 please subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and if you try to recreate this look or do something similar, make sure to post it below. You can also follow me on Instagram at according to Lauren Tracy. It's A-C-C-O-R-D-I-N-G-L-A-U-R-E-N, -C -C -E and then Tracy is T-R-A-C-Y, so you can come find me there. I do a lot of short, quick tutorials on there. Um, shorter versions of the long ones I do on here and I post a lot of fun stuff and I might just be doing a giveaway sometime soon in the new year. So definitely follow me on there and stay tuned for more videos because I plan on doing them a lot more frequently now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you all have a wonderful holiday. Bye! Okay, I am starting with the Mineral Touch Liquid Foundation from Unique. I am in the shade Satin, and I'm gonna just put it all over my face and then blend it in with a brush. Now I'm going in with the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer, and I am putting it all under my eyes. I did end up going into my um, T-zone a little bit. I love the way concealer applies over it, and it is extra hydrating. Now for the first time ever, I am using the Tarte Shape Tape. I totally understand the hype on this stuff. I am in the shade light and I am obsessed. It is so easy to use. The brush is a lot bigger. You don't need to get dip, re-dip for a product as many times and it blends like a dream. I also feel like the problem of um, that concealer sinking into creases is definitely like non-existent with this product. If you have been trying to find it or considering getting it, I would highly recommend it. Now I'm going to start carving out my contour on my cheekbones with the Amazonian Tarte Concealer. I am in the shade Deep. I will also go down the sides of my nose to kind of define that, make my nose look smaller. And then again on the bottom, and under the lip and then I will go through and do the top of my head and I figured you were probably sick of watching me blend 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 so I just went ahead and did that nice and easy for you and as you can see the contour is on point. So now I'm going in with the Lorac Pro in the shade Buff and I'm just going to put that all over my eyes and now I'm going in with Nectar and I'm going to start to make that crease pop now I'm using the shade Snow, and I'm gonna go all over the eyelid and kind of into the corner of the eyes a little bit. 
Following that, I'm using the shade Navy and I'm using a smaller tipped brush to kind of almost draw a line in the crease. We will blend it out, but you just want the line to be super defined. And then with a brush with no product on it, you're gonna go through and blend everything out. Now I'm using the shade Silver with a flat headed brush and I'm again going into the corners and out around the whole lid and right below the blue. And I also did use some MAC Fix Plus. Now I am using the Razor Sharp Eyeliner, Liquid Eyeliner from Urban Decay, and I believe it is in the shade Chaos. I really liked the way this applied, and it kind of like peels off in the end, so it's super cool. They have lots of colors, and it's great when you're trying to create a little bit more fun looks. I would highly recommend it. I also have it in the red shade, and it's beautiful. Um, now I'm going back in with Snow, and I'm just gonna go on the very inner lid and then with a bigger brush I'm gonna go in with silver and I'm gonna kind of buff out the under eye area a little bit then going in with navy I'm going back again closer to my inner crease to kind of match that blue wing that we have created you can see it blends together nicely and looks great now I'm adding a little bit of better than sex mascara my fave Avi I use it all the time and then I'm just gonna pop some allure mink lashes from Ulta on um, now I am using Dandelion Blush and it's from Benefit and I love it. It is a soft pink and now I'm using Gimme Brow. This is like my new go-to brow product. I don't even pencil my eyebrows in. I kind of just draw it on and I love it. Now, finally, I am using the Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops in the shade Celestial. I wasn't really sure how I wanted to use this, so I made some little dots, and then I blended it together with my finger, and I loved the way it looked, but I'm sure that it will eventually look even better than that. Now I'm going in with Coco, the shade Clo Money, and I am putting that all over my lips. It is from Kylie's um, Coco Collection, and I absolutely love it. And then on top, I am going to cover it with her Damn Gina Lip Gloss. I'm gonna spray with some Chill Urban Decay Setting Spray, and then that is all to complete this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks.